Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal. You know what we're here to do. We're here to put some respect on Michael Jordan, put some respect on the 80s and the 90s, right? Stop all the lies about this man and his era, right? It's all about the facts on this channel. You guys understand that. You guys get that. So much respect to all you guys out there for showing me the, the support, showing me some respect, man. Much respect to all of you. You guys know the deal, man. Thank you, guys. It means a lot to me, guys. It really does. And in this video, <clears throat> this is a little uh, video that's going to be uh, inspired by one of the, my subscribers. Shout out to Hayden Phoenix. Much respect to Hayden Phoenix. We've gone back and forth in the comments several times. Much respect to you. Thank you for all your support. But me and you were talking about, imagine if Michael Jordan would have came back when he came back in 03 or 02 for the Wizards. If he would have came back and actually went <clears throat> to a, a, a playoff caliber team, a championship caliber team. If he would have been a ring chaser, so to speak. We're going to talk about that in this video. So you guys know the deal, man. Turn the volume all the way up, man. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, much respect to Hayden Phoenix, man. I hope I'm saying this thing, your name right. Shout out to you. Much respect. This video is inspired by what we were talking about. Imagine if Michael Jordan would have came back and instead of joining the Wizards, what if Michael Jordan would have came back and joined the New Jersey Nets at that time, who were the top team in the Eastern Conference? What if Michael Jordan would have came back and joined the L.A. Lakers with Kobe and Shaq? Right? What if he would have joined that team? Because, you know, I've often heard that Phil Jackson was asking Michael Jordan to come back and play for the Lakers at that time to help a young Kobe Bryant, right? To help learn, teach this guy, right? Show him the ways, right? The Lakers had already won what? Back-to-back -back titles when Michael Jordan came back. If Michael Jordan would have had the mentality of a LeBron James, right? Because can we, can we call LeBron James a ring chaser? Can we call him a ring chaser? We might be able to, guys, because that's really what this has come down to. I told you guys, after 2007, LeBron James realized in his mind that it was going to be a lot harder to win an NBA title than he thought, right? That his athleticism, the skills that he thought that he had, that he was dominating high school with, were not. it wasn't going to work in the NBA like that. And unfortunately for LeBron James, he never seemed to develop a game, a well-rounded game, right? His game is still very basic. It's very high school-ish, right? He still tries to get by on his brute strength, right, and his athleticism alone. That's why he has hit the chemicals, to keep the athleticism up there, right? Because the skill's not there. The skill's never been there. The game is not there. It's never been there, right? So what did LeBron James proceed to do after 2007? Well, what he realized is that in 08, in 09, 2010, all of a sudden, the Celtics team would emerge, right? This team would emerge. LeBron James figures and realizes, oh, my God, I got to start winning a championship. I got to start winning championships. So he decides to ring chase. That's really what the team hopping has come down to, guys. It's him stacking the deck and putting the odds in his favor, right? Putting the odds in his favor to make it easier for him to win a championship. That's called ring chasing. That's what that is. If Michael Jordan would have had that same mentality when he came back, then he wouldn't have played for the Wizards. That's why we say it wasn't about the stats for Michael Jordan because if he was really worried about stats and things like that, then he would have came back for actual a good team, a contender. But Michael Jordan was never a ring chaser. He never chased rings because he had integrity, right? He had honor. And he always approached the game the right way, right? And we would have looked at Michael Jordan a little differently if he would have came back and played for the Lakers, right? And maybe got another ring. Maybe got two more rings on a Lakers team or on a New Jersey Nets team. Or if he came back and played for the San Antonio Spurs, you know, or the Detroit Pistons. You know, some of these quality playoff teams at that time. Maybe he would have went and played for the Dallas Mavericks or the Sacramento Kings at that time who were a very good team. 
But Michael Jordan didn't think about that way. He didn't think like that. He was genuinely trying to help the Wizards players out. Right? He was genuinely, genuinely connected to the Wizards franchise. Right? And like I said, he had honor. So he honored the commitment for them. And he wanted to help these guys, even though they didn't appreciate the help, really, other than Rip Hamilton. You know, Kwame Brown cries about it. Uh, what's his name? Jerry Stackhouse, he cries about his time on the Wizards with Michael Jordan. Bunch of babies, right? They can't take the harsh reality, the harsh treatment of Michael Jordan, right? So they folded up, they cried. All these years later, these guys want to talk. But I think that when we talk about Michael Jordan and LeBron James, and I think that we can say that LeBron James has been ring chasing since he went to Miami, right? Then he went to back to Cleveland, to hope to get another easy ring, right? And then he hopped over to L.A. But remember, he needed Anthony Davis to come there. They had a, you remember that guy? They had to trade Anthony Davis from the Pelicans, right, to the Lakers. They gave him that. They did that for him. That was a favor, right? That guy, Dal Griffith, the GM over at the Pelicans, they just hooked up LeBron James. Here, man, we're trying to help you get a championship. Here's Anthony Davis. Michael Jordan didn't think about those things, man. And he could have easily, easily, gotten a seventh or an eighth ring as maybe the sixth man, you know, coming off the bench on a quality contender. He could have done that. That was never Michael Jordan, guys, right? That's just another way that the dynamic between their mental is different. LeBron James not a competitor like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would have been more happy doing what he did, trying his hardest, playing on both ends of the ball with a bad knee, arthritis all over the place, 39, 40 years old, playing with essentially really nobody at a high level, right? This is Michael Jordan, guys, giving his all. He would rather do that, right, and not make the playoffs, struggle, but still have his integrity, still have his honor, still have the respect of the fans. That's why all these years later, we're pushing back on this false Michael Jordan and the Wizards narrative. We're pushing back on that stuff. He wasn't good on the Wizards. Michael Jordan was trash on the Wizards. He was not. The only people who say that are the people who don't actually know, who weren't maybe around to watch those games, who don't really know Michael Jordan, right? They don't do the homework. Or they're just LeBron fans, right? Trying to bring Michael Jordan's greatness down. But most people are impressed with what Michael Jordan showed on the video footage for those two years in the Wizards. It was impressive. Because they always had the hustle, the grit, the determination, the heart. That was always Michael Jordan. It didn't matter what age he was or that he was dealing with the bad knees. He had the grit, man. So we respect this man. So shout out to Michael Jordan. Shout out to Hayden Phoenix, man. I believe that LeBron James, we could label him as a ring chaser over the last, what, 10 years or so, hopping around. Right, trying to put the odds in his favor, trying to get an easy ring. Right, always looking for some more support. Why didn't he stay on Miami? He promised them all those rings. Seven, eight, nine. Shout out to Chuck D. Right from Miami. Y'all are still waiting on them rings. Why did he leave Miami? He should stay in Miami then. But he continues to team hop and ring chase. And that's why his record is the way it is, guys. Because instead of working on his game, right, working on team chemistry, right, always pushing his teammates in practice, right, things like that, right, we've talked about this stuff. He didn't do, he didn't do those things. He didn't want to do those things. So he never maximized his teammates. He never even maximized himself, his true potential. He never did. So, yeah, guys, we must continue to educate, right? We must continue to stop the lies, right? We will not let this stand. We will not allow this to stand. You guys know the deal, man. Michael Jordan would never be a ring chaser. He would never have done that, and he could have easily done that. He could have went to the Lakers. He probably should have went to the Lakers and won a ring or two, helped them win. But that's not who Michael Jordan was. I'll catch you guys on the next one.